Okay, keep talking about the Devil Wears Prada. And one of the most important things that I just have taken from that movie is that um, the carriers thing and the problems that it could cause. So, spoiler, if you haven't watched this movie or something like that, um, in the really in the middle of the film, the main heroine Andrea just breaks up with her boyfriend and really that um, movie is just showing the worst part of the Carrie's life. So she had to, you know, to get ready for everything that could happen at your work. So it is not, you know, just coming to work for 9 o'clock in the morning and going home at 6 o'clock in the evening. It is just being ready for everything um, just in every minute. And I, I just had such experience, you know, when I was uh, working for one uh, website making uh, different uh, study projects. And really, they could just call me at night, at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock at night. And uh, I just got up and I was sitting and doing work that I have to do because of the deadlines. And it was really hard to, really hard for all the people around me because I could just, you know, uh, spend my time on some party or something like that. Or my birthday of my friend, it was really, I was sitting, I was sitting there for two hours, something like that. So not, not very long time for a party. But then I just got a call that I have to start working for some project right now. So I just said, okay. Thank you for this evening, goodbye, I'm just go, going home for working. And really, people, I was working like that for half of a year. I just was getting money and that was great, but at least uh, it was hard, was hard for me, it was hard for everyone because, you know, you know, it is really... It is really a pity for people when they just wanted to spend time with you, but you cannot. And if it is connected with the relationships of love relationships, of course, it is just going to breaking up. Yes, of course, you could find the person who will understand all of this, but you could find the person from the same sphere, so with the same, you know, just uh, unpredict unpredictable working shadow, you can find a person who, for example, really always uh, free and uh, that person could uh, just meet with you every time you are free. But at least it is hard for people to understand that. It is really hard for people to deal with it. So this, this um, thing just shows, this movie just shows that a bad part of working really hard for the career but the most important thing is that the main hearing was just working for the field that is connected and that was the reason why her boyfriend just decided to break up with her because he, when he was started when he started um, to dating with her and building some you know really strong and close relationships she was a girl who was interested in socially valuable topics. So maybe it would not happen if she would really work hard for something she really wants. But when you are just working for the field that is just connected, you should always remember that it is just connected. It is the thing that could help you. It is not the really the most important thing. So the end of the movie, she just uh, starts her relationships with that boyfriend once more. But the only thing that could just help them is that she was just sorry for everything she was doing. And she finally got the work in the field she wanted, really wanted. And that was understandable for him 
and that would not cause so much problems. I don't know, maybe it would cause some problems in their relationships, in their future, but that is just really important always, guys, to remember that career and your dream is one thing that you have to work hard for. But at least when you are just making your first steps, it is usually something that is just close to your dream. Always remember that it is just something that would help you. It is not something that you want to do the whole your life. And do not be afraid to say no. One day you just you just will meet with the thing to say no and you should be ready for that. So you can just prepare yourself for saying no, just, you know, saying no to people who are not uh, considering your, you know, personal life important. So I'm really dealing with that. It is really hard for me because I have some people in my life. They are, some of them are my relatives, some of them are my close friends, but they are not just, you know, Considering my work may be important or something like that because um, they just do not understand that I cannot just go out right now. So it is hard to say no, but sometimes you have to do that. And for me, it is, it is really going hard, but I'm doing it. And, you know, this feeling of guilty inside of you, that is so much bad thing because... Guys, you do not have to do something for other people. You have to do something only for yourself. So do not really take into account worry, worry, you know, to, even to your heart, this thing that you're feeling guilty, just saying no to some people. Those people have their lives, their own works, their own relationships. And I'm just, you know, I'm just saying that. I'm just thinking, oh my God, I all, I also have to work for this really, really hard. But I'm just, just sharing this experience with you because someone just said that thing to me and I'm really thankful, feeling really thankful for the person that have told me because I was just living with these thoughts in my head that I have to say no to some of my friends. I have to say no even to some of my relatives, to some people from my family. I have to say no for lots of people. By the way, one interesting thing, I never feel um, like I have to say no for, to people that I'm working with. Really, never. And that is a funny thing, maybe because the, those people are just considering my life, my thoughts or my ideas or something that I'm doing important, maybe because of that. And this is really hard. And so sometimes you're feeling that you have to say no to some people, to some things, to some occasions, to some food, as I have been talking about that in the acne diet video. And it is important to hear that just to to find a person who will say it to you aloud. I am happy that I have heard those things from another person. It was important. I just needed that. So I think that <laughs> I'm not, you know, like that special. So there are lots of people just like me who just need to hear that. So I'm just saying it to you. Just just say no as much as you can because really in this life in our lives there is much more things that we have to say no than yes it is a hard work <laughs> and i wish you a great a great strength for it and as i have just um promised to say some interesting facts about the devil wears prada um, is one of the interesting facts about the Dale Wears Prada is that Meryl Streep is uh, such a person who just hates fashion and really considers um, purchasing very branded and very expensive 
uh, clothes and accessories, stupid. So it is was just funny for me. I have uh, been knowing this fact before I watched The Devil Wears Prada, and that was really funny for me to watch it <laughs> because um, I don't know. Meryl Streep was with that thoughts. It is something like I was feeling about the notebook when I just um, realized that actors Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams just hated each other and they were playing love so naturally. So it is wonderful thing when you just see the person, the actor who just hates fashion and world of fashion, but she's playing this Anna Winter prototype so naturally, so greatly. So that is making this movie just wonderful. So if you haven't watched it or if you have watched it, just watch it once more. You will not lose nothing. And we are going to the next movie. And the next one is The Intern. Guys, really, uh, when I just watched The Intern, I just was feeling something like it is the next part of The Devil, Devil Wears Prada. Yes, of course, with uh, another mood another you know moral no no moral is the same so that i have chosen that movie um this mood is just uh, a bit different because it was done by nancy myers nancy myers really is a person the great scenario maker the great film director because she has done for us what women want something is gonna give and the holiday and really if you have watched those movies and i i really hope that uh, you have watched them and if you really love them and i think it is something about the movie what women wants that what women women want uh you just need to watch the intern because this is, you know, this uh, easy going mood, this great plot, great, um, you know, the way of relationships growing. And what this movie is differs from all of those by Nancy uh, Myers I have told you about is that the great, really the, the great vision, the great picture. So the colors, the technique, everything is so good. Everything is so wonderful. I was watching this movie at home, but even watching it at home, uh, I was watching it on TV. I was just shocked with all the colors, with all the technique of movie making. It is just wonderful. So it is really, uh, you're feeling just pleased to watch it. You're just feeling, you know, this... Um, uh, we, um, this orgasm of watching something so just feeling something so much beautifully and so much so much in professional way so so just wonderful and that movie is also important to the topic we're talking today about um, because because it is like you know the sequel really the sequel for me so as well the same thing the great actor actors mix robert de niro is just a wonderful actor and really um i don't know he has been acting in some really strange movies i was just watching them and thinking oh my god why you have just agreed to take a role in it but at least he is playing everywhere wonderfully just just really so cute in this movie, The Intern. And and Hathaway, the person with, you know, these widely open eyes, with this cute smile, the person, the actress who just makes, you know, she is not those uh, classically beauty from Hollywood. She is just the girl who who is like most of, you know, these dreamy people with this widely open eyes, with a wide smile, just believing in something, that something would just become great. And I really consider her type of appearance and her type of, um, you know, of every role she is getting perfect for every pe person, for every girl who wants to get some motivation in life. So 
yes, there are lots of motivation, motivational characters like Bella Swan, like Anastasia Steele, that our the most part of teenage females are just taking them into account, are just trying to follow them. But no, I really believe that Anne Hathaway's characters are the wonderful ones for motivation, for following, for, I don't know, taking some tips for you. So why I just consider this movie is just the sequel, because um, in the movie The Devil the Devil Wears Prada, um, Miranda, the character of uh, Meryl Streep, always uh, just um, just making us see that there are lots of similar things between uh, Meryl Streep's character and Anne Hathaway's character. So the intern is just looking like um, Andrea just got her own fashion business and she's really behaving like, you know, um, more kind Miranda. <laughs> and um, that is just uh, something that is um, Anne Hattie does the best. So this strong businesswoman who is just everything in her work and something like that. And then the in the end, just, you know, this person with real feelings like happened in The Devil Wears Prada. And as well, this movie would be really good for people who are just uh, want, also for people who are in love with fashion. So The Devil Wears Prada is always appearing in the list of every fashionista who are who is fond of uh, cinematograph and this one so it is good for people who are just thinking about you know opening their online online store and just want just want to know how it works inside and the devil wears Prada is just a good you know guide for people who are interested in working with a fashion magazine just to know how it looks inside and how hard is it so the plot is um, and Hattie's character, Jules, Jules uh, she's just uh, working for her own project, the big project, uh, this online store, and their social program just um, just uh, proposing the intern work for old people. And Robert De Niro, he has lost his wife and uh, he was traveling a lot so he's just feeling bored and he decides to to go for this work and their their relationships are growing from the first when she said that she has no time for him and he could just do anything he wants just not you know to spoil something and in the end he just becomes like a father like a friend for her and also i have just found in this movie very important line the line that has appeared uh, in the Dale will wear Prada, but more really in more hard and strong way oh my god why and hattie is really uh, getting lots of roles where someone is just breaking out with her so and hattie in this movie is having uh, she she is married and she has a daughter, and her husband, you know, like sitting at home while she is working, and it is really a hard thing for a current man, and that is something that is happening in our world when where women are just getting into business more and more and more and this you know changing the roles of relationships. I don't know how much time should just be. Be best just to you know these things are just being normal maybe never because we were living in this world with another situation of roles of women and men in relationships for so long time so it is just in our minds and it could be really never changed it, it is happening in our world but at least People are not feeling that so normal as it could be. So, in the end, uh, her husband was just cheating on her, and and that was the uh, that is the side of 
the terrorist world. That is something that is happening because that is something I have told you about. I was just watching those two movies just to understand how to deal with it. Because in this movie, we're just seeing her working not on, the, you know, this, um, not just working on this uh, similar job that could just help her. No, she's working on her project, on her dream. But she's working a lot and she's just forgetting about her family. And that is, there is a great moral in this movie is just uh, that she got problems on her works and the directors of uh, this company are just, the investors are just deciding that uh, she needs, you know, just a person who will rule her. So she's ruling the whole company, but someone should just be upper, the top to rule her. And that is getting hard for her. That is getting hard for every person who just, you know, had this power, who just created this project, who just created her own world. But <clears throat> really nothing, she's trying to do everything to deal with her family, to deal with her project, but nothing is working good. And people from the you know, other side, they are seeing that and they are understanding that. So the most moral that I just got from that movie is that if someone is telling you something, just try to understand it and to take it into account. It is very important. Yes, of course, most of people are just considering themselves the most clever, the most wise, the most, I don't know, strong, but it, it could not be happen, really. Watch the devil wears Prada and the strong and powerful Miranda just cries in the end because there is a divorce in her life and so nothing could be successful. You're, we are just living in this world and we could work the best only for one thing to get the success there. So, so that people are just choosing career or family, hobby or work. That is really hard. That is really big pity to understand that. But at least the great moral that I have understood from this side is that if someone who is just working with you, who are just seeing something from your life, what is happening, what is inside, and this person is just saying that you need someone to help you, you need someone maybe to postpone, you need someone to change, Try to take it into account, try to think about that, because people who really love you or who really work with you and you, they really want your work to be successful, they would not lie to you because they want to help you. And maybe when you're just working on something really hard, you are losing, you know, lots of things. You cannot see lots of things because you're tired or you're just too much concentrated on something else. So take into account the advices of people who want you to be successful or want you to be happy. Try to believe that there are more people that want you want to help you than to really ruin your life because it was yesterday, I was just um, making shopping in the market and beads from my... Uh, I, have beaded, I had beaded bracelet on my hand and it was just broken, so all the beads were just, uh, just, you know, running out of me. And I was standing, I started to just to just to try to, to save something from there just trying to take them all and really i was considering all the people from the area that where i live very angry or something like that because 
really I'm living not in a very successful area with not very successful people. So there are lots of really alcoholics, people who are drug, t- drug addicted or just, you know, just losers. So I, I'm used to that those people are usually really angry for their destiny. So they are hating everyone and everything. Because really people that I met, they were not just... I, when I just, uh, you know, started uh, healing my skin, they were not happy for me. They just hated me because uh, I'm becoming be- more beautiful. And <laughs> that is really strange. But that is so. So I wasn't just really thinking that someone would help me. But even the old woman who is, you know, it is hard for her to be too active. She just helped me to to save all the bits that were falling on the floor. And when I just got out from that store, I just um, was uh, purchasing some fruit near it. And one guy just came to me. It was like a man with his family and he just came to me and he just brought me two beads. Two beads! It wasn't, you know, just beads made of some natural stone, something expensive. No, it was just made of some wooden pieces or something like that. And I was just standing and thinking that I was considering this area where I live really like the world of people who are offended by their lives and they're angry about it. But I was wrong. There are more people who want to help you than to ruin your life. So I just advise you to watch the intern, to watch the devil of Devil Wears Prada and just to take those important things, not to make mistakes that the main heroes are doing. Because every, every, every movie, I'm just watching them to take something that I could use in my life. It is not just, you know, people are not just making movies just you know, to have a rest for you, to make a rest for you. There is, movies are a great art and every art has its important role and important mission. So... Two things we were talking today about. Just do not be afraid to say no to something that could ruin your life. And do not think that someone is trying to help you. It is stupid or something like that guy. This person just wants to help you and just take this help. Because someday you could just, you know, need really someone just to talk and nobody would be there because you were behaving like, you know, that strong and the person who just can do everything in this world by himself. So be happy, guys. And it doesn't matter what is the sense of your life, family, career, hobby, traveling. Just do something that you want. And that would make you really happy.